Hello, hello, everybody. Hi, good morning, Annabella. It's actually 10 p.m. Hi, in... Good morning, Annabella. Um, PM. Sorry about that. It's 10 p.m. in Dubai. I, I'm in Dubai, obviously. <laughs> Apologies for my eye. I get sty once in a while. Um, how are you? Hi, Angela. And hi, D. Good evening here. And... I'm not sure where you're from. Comment where you're from, guys. I'm from the Philippines, but I live in Dubai. <laughs> oh, Annabella, you're from LA. Hi there. It's um, Saturday, right? So it's the weekend. Um, today we're just going to do a um, quick video about this pattern by um, Atelier Mimito. Not sure if you've heard of her on Etsy. Um, we have a collaboration with um her name is Laurie the shop owner's Laurie and I'll be putting the link below but if you're on the maker Facebook group I've actually included the link already um as to where you you'll get this pattern I'm holding it's it's a bib this is not done but it's just the you know a cutout it's a scallop bib. It's actually really cute. Yeah, I can see a lot of you are from the USA and one from Canada. Hi there. What time is it in Canada now? Um, hi, Erica. Thank you. Oh, we have one from the UK. Hi, 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 hi from Germany. I'm glad you have a lot of Filipino friends, Annabella. I hope they're good to you. I'm so happy to see you all guys here. Uh, it's my first live and I wasn't sure if anyone's going to come on, but I'm really happy. 12 is a lot for me. <laughs> oh, now we're actually 15. Hi, Ra Raquel. I'm not sure if I said that right. Are you guys busy today? It's still morning, so hope you guys had your breakfast, coffee. I've got my coffee because um, um, it's it's evening, obviously, and <laughs> I need to be awake and alive. So yeah, I've got my new sewing machine here. Um, in this, oh, sorry, an industrial one. I will make a video about this one, but it's not a popular brand. It's from a local shop here in Dubai. So if you're not from Dubai, you, you, I don't think you can actually get this machine. Um, I was looking at Juki machines, but they're, um, there's not a lot of it here, like the distributors. And 
I really like the local shop where I bought this machine from because I, I love their service. It's for me, one thing is the brand, but really for me, the service, really good service, uh, really good people as well. That's really important for me because your machine is going to break one day and you're going to need their help. And yeah, maybe one day I'll get Juki and, you know, because that's world known. But this one, um, it's, uh, it's Mark Middle East. I don't, I don't think you guys have heard of it really, but yeah, it's, it's quite good. It's just basic stitch, uh, straight stitch. It only does straight stitch. Um, it's industrial, but it cannot do, um, heavy leather or really thick leather. Let me show you this. There's the machine. So it's actually nice designs and it's all metal. It's really good. Hey, I think we're ready to start. Um, so I'm just going to show you quickly how to make this scallop bib. Um, if you guys have been sewing for a while, you probably already know how to make a bib. But I think it's just, it's just a really cute, you know, this style of a bib. And I got it from Atelier Mimito. Um, let me try to get her link and I'll post it on the chat box. Just, sorry, one second. There you go. And you can get a 20% discount if you use the code Andy Mimito. I'm gonna put that on the chat box. So here's the link and code is Andy Mimito. There you go. And you should be able to get 20% discount. And that's an affiliate link. So I may get a small percentage from your purchases, but I'm going to be grateful if that's a bit of help for my channel. And also I want to support um, small businesses like Atelier Mimito and her patterns are really good. I like her patterns. That's why I chose her. And oh, we have one from Ireland. I'm actually married. <laughs> I'm 27 and I have an almost two year old baby boy named Oliver. He's half British and half Filipino. Just a bit about myself. Yeah, the, well, it's not a di digital digital. You just see um, a bit of information on the screen of uh, the speeds, like how fast it can go. So this can go up to 3,700 um stitch per minute but i'm not quite there yet so i always go on 2400 because it it's really fast if you're not used to it it's it's really fast and if you're not um familiar with these type of machines these industrial machines under the machine itself is an is a pan of oil and you have to fill it and they said every six months I'll have to fill it up, but it depends on how often you use the machine. But at my rate, I'll probably fill the oil in, in about three months because I use it a lot. That's what I do all day, every day. Well, except Saturday, Sunday. So, yeah, okay. So let's get started. I'm just going to show you real quick. You don't have to do it now but i just want to show you how i make it because i always have my own style into making things like this bib um of course the pattern maker would tell you 
how to make it and other tips as well. But then at some point, if you've been sewing a lot, you just find your own style and it, what's easier for your brain, if that makes sense. Oh, that's cool. Fiji. Oh, we're all over the world. That's great. Right, so here, one of my tips in cutting this is because it says to, this is the fold, so you cut it on fold. So what I do is I really iron my fabric. By the way, I use linen for this um, for this pattern, but you can use any fabric, any any bib worthy material that you think is good. Quilting cotton is fine, flannel is fine, linen, um, and if you want more um, absorbent, then you can add another layer inside. So that's one of the tips that I saw from the pattern maker uh, instruction. And there's one thing I want to show you here. Because we always get, you know, um, cutouts from or remnants, like small remnants you don't know what to do with. So what I do is just sew them all together. So like an odd shape, but, you know, just so you don't throw them away. And then now I'm going to use this as the back of my my um, bib. This is all linen. So I'm using all linen. See, that's going to be the back, the back of it. Now, once you've cut out your first um, or top piece, it's, you know, you only need two. If you want more, uh, if you want a bit thicker, then you can add another layer. But I'm only using two for now. So here, I've got this one piece. The second piece, I'm not going to cut. I'm going to keep it like this and then put this other one on top of it and then pin. You see what I mean? I won't cut the second piece yet because I want it, I want to make sure that, because if you do cut, you tend to, you know, to shift the material. So then it's not perfect, perfect. So I found that easier for my for my brain to process. So I pin that. So I pin it. Let me pin it and show it to you. Okay. Here it is. Oops. Um Okay, so because I'm using linen, so I don't have well, I'm not sure if there's a right and wrong side of linen of this this specific linen, but I don't see any difference. So I'm going to use that. I know this is the right side because at the back is really ugly. <laughs> so right side, going to pin it. What are your plans today? It's Saturday. Are you guys working or you stay at home? With family. There you go. Spin it. And now I'm going to sew a quarter of an inch away from the, the edge all around. And then I'm going to leave a three inch. If I can do 2.5, I'll do 2.5. But to be safe, three inches gap. So make sure to back stitch here and then slowly because they're curves to make sure that you know you you get the really nice shape then you follow the curves carefully and slowly that's how i do it okay let me try and do that Tell me about you guys. So I'm actually here just to chat with you.
Okay, I'm gonna go really slow. What I like about this machine is it's got its own um, knee lifter, so you don't keep doing that. Just, just like um, in, you know, your basic domestic machine. yourself you keep <laughs> thank you Annabella hello Margaret have you also done this before you you don't cut the second piece until you've sewn it. I find it a lot easier to do this. Of course, I've cut the second piece before, but this is why I discovered this. I have a domestic machine which is um, a Janome 6700 Professional and it's also got a knee lifter. It's actually good that I tra transitioned. I still use it. But I use this now more often than my domestic one. It's actually semi-industrial, they say. It's got a lot of um, features of an industrial one okay I'm coming to so I'm gonna leave um, three inches gap and then back stitch there you go Now, now is the time to actually cut the shape. So find that a lot easier than doing it the first time. Hi, Margaret. Welcome and thank you for being here. Well, actually, I'm a self-taught sewist. I'm not an expert, not a pro in any kind, but I just really love sewing. My grandma had a sewing shop in the Philippines and I was her little assistant. But you know, when you're a kid, you don't really know what you want to do in life. I don't know about you, but that's that was me. And I didn't take anything seriously. Obviously, I was a kid, but I grew up with my grandma and I learned the... You know those vintage Singer sewing machines with, with the table just like this? That was really good. I'd love to have one of those, you know, if I, if, if I can find one. I've, so far, I've not seen them in Dubai. Um, but yeah, that's where I first learned sewing. Where you have to pedal. Is that what it's called? So, here we go. Oh, that's cool. I think our grandparents have are really inspiring. My grandma is probably eighty. Not very sure, but she's um the late 80s and she's still alive and well and she's still sewing you know as a hobby but not every day only when she wants to i guess that's my dream to have granddaughters <laughs> sewing with me oh hi salika <laughs> Oh, are they? I've not seen them. 
Where can I find them? It's not that I'm on, <laughs> I'm looking for it right now, but I'd love to know where they are. That's cool. What other hobbies do you have than sewing? Because I like to do karaoke. <laughs> I don't know if you've heard about this, um, about Filipinos, that we love singing. Even if singing doesn't really like us that much. We really love singing. And I grew up with um, karaoke or... We call them sometimes video key machines. Now, I'm actually folding it. You know where I left the gap? If there's beginners out there, then this is for you. Where I left the gap, I'm actually just pressing it by hand, but then later I would go to my um, iron and press this properly, but just creasing it. So when you turn it inside out, you'll know where to sew. Like it'll be easier for you to just do that. I guess because this is linen, it's really good. It, it creases a lot. That's one of the not so good thing about linen fabric. <laughs> yeah. But you know, Annabella, the, those kind of sewing machine, when you go under it, you get oil on your hands and grease. But as a kid, that was fun. So now, because it's a curve, um, you'd, you'd want to snip, you know, as much as you want, as much as you can, just to get a nice finish. That's what I do. They said small scissors for small jobs, and I'm using my big scissors. Oh, by the way, I love this scissors. Look at the color of that. Ging, don't know how to pronounce this. Ginger, Italy. It's really good. Love that one. But I'll use this one. How did you guys learn how to sew? When did you start sewing? By the way, thank you for being with me tonight. Well, it's night here in Dubai. Anyway. How often do you want me guys to go on live? go and then to get this really nice looking crisp on the outside we need to really go deep but before the stitch we don't cut the stitches and then I think now that this generation this there's a lot of self-taught so it's because it's it's available online you go on youtube you can learn how to do things it's which is amazing before you'd have to pay you'd have to pay for someone to teach you this world is um better in that way you can set up i set up my own business by just watching youtube videos and you know, reading and asking from people and all that. I think a lot of people do the same thing. It's amazing, I think. Thank you. Oh, Salika, that's awesome. I've seen some of your videos. It's really good. 
And I can see that you have a really deep knowledge of you know, sewing. Maybe I'd meet you one day and you'd teach me. <laughs> oh, thank you, Margaret. That's really sweet of you. Oh, wow. That's great, Annabella. It's so great that you have a daughter to teach this. I think it's such a good skill to have, not just for women, for men too. I mean, I have a boy and I am dreaming one day that I'd be teaching, I'd be sewing with him side by side and, you know, the world would be fine about it. <laughs> I've seen a lot of men sew, well, tailors do, right? But, yeah, so turn it inside out. Just gonna poke it with my finger. Hello, everybody. To the ones that just got here, where are you from? And thank you for being here. It's, it's, it just um, turned 10.07 in Dubai. Okay, now I found this other tool. Let me show you. I'm not sure what this is called, but my mother-in-law found this um she loves making dolls she's a doll maker and she found this tool um and it's very useful for poking corners because it's got a a nice rounded edge and that's smaller so this is very useful for poking and you know it makes sure not to poke through your fabric but still, you got to be careful. Hello, Edge SS by Nero. <laughs> Thank you, Margaret. And I'm really shocked and surprised that I have... Um, more than 10,000 subscribers. I'm really humbled by this love. You guys, you're the best. Okay, I think we can quite see. Okay, I'm just gonna go and iron this. I think enough poking and you should start ironing. Hey, you can kind of see the shape. I like that. I like that style. I don't know, but a bit funky and quite like it. Right, so let's go to my sewing um, ironing board. I'm gonna travel. Here's my ironing board and I actually made this from uh, it's a DIY. This is a double layer of just wool felt, like 100% wool felt. And then I bought, um, I think this is 50 by 50 centimeter um, tabletop from Ikea. And I'm using it as an ironing board and it's perfect. Well, I covered it with cotton first that's the first layer no actually no not cotton um batting wool batting it's, it's got to be wool batting because don't use polyester because you're just gonna burn it um but yeah wool batting and then the second layer is cotton 100 percent cotton fabric and then i added wool I actually put two layers of wool felt and that's 
it's been doing great i've had this for a few months now it's really good I don't like those ironing boards that you buy, um, you know, from just local shops. I mean, they're okay, but because I do a lot of sewing and it's not just a hobby. It's, it's literally what I do every single day. I really need a really good functional um, ironing board. Yeah, there you go. And the last thing to do is, I think you already know, just stop stitch all the way around. You can see the shape. It's really pretty, this shape. Linen is such a nice fabric. Okay, let's go and sew this. Okay, traveling again. Thank you, Salika. Thank you, thank you. Ah, thank you. HSS by Nero. Sorry, hope I'm saying that right. Okay. And um, actually, before um, you sew it, decide which one you're going to put. You're going to put snap button or uh, maybe you would want a ribbon you know to tie this or a velcro maybe velcro would be easier but I'd put a snap so that's gonna be my finish okay so just gonna stitch I'm still getting used to this industrial machine. Still very new to me. It's only a couple weeks old, actually. I'm not sure if it's already been a couple, maybe a week and a half. I got it for my birthday. It's actually my birthday next week. It's my 27th birthday. And I only wish for a happy life <laughs> and my healthy boy. So again, this pattern is from Atelier Mimito. Please check out her patterns because she makes really good patterns. And she's a very nice person too. I'm going to go over one more time. I didn't quite catch the... That's enough. Hey. So there's our bib. <laughs> well, I just need snaps and that's all. But you guys are the best. Thank you. Thank you. Well, this linen, um, Salika, is not really um, leak proof. So, you'd want to pick out a fabric, uh, you know, that works for you. For me, I've made a lot of um, bibs for my son. Obviously, not this shape. <laughs> but I've just used, you know, flannel. And I've actually never used waterproof material. 
I know I can get them in Dubai, but just never bothered to to do that. So let's. I like to eyeball things, so I'll just eyeball this. Poke, poke it. With linen, you actually don't need to poke because it's it's very giving. What color should I use? Um, quite like the green. That's where you know that's the most. It's I'm gonna use pl plastic snaps. Velcro is good too, or metal snaps. Yes, my. So let's put this here. Let's make this funky. Thank you, Erica. Hi, um, HSS by Nero. I don't really have a strict schedule, but I might as well do. <laughs> What is, I might as well make one. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't, I don't really have a strict schedule. But do you prefer that I schedule a live like a few weeks before I go on live? I like things, you know, unplanned. That's that's um, that's how I, you know, go on about my life. I like things unplanned and. And I just, you know, go along with what life throws me <laughs> and what I feel like doing that day. But I, I don't hate plans, so I can, I can plan it. That's fine by me. Okay, let's. Okay, you can see my face now. I've got this poor eye. Uh, time in Dubai is ten seventeen p.m. So there's the bib. I've got green. I think it's just funky. It's really cute. There's the back. So it's reversible, whichever front you want. It's really cool. What I used to do for my friends' babies or for my own baby as well is embroider the name first of the, you know, one piece of the, the pattern. Embroider the name of the baby. And I think that's embroidering the name personalizing them is such a way it's such a good touch to each piece that you make it, you know it's so personal and it's i feel like it's more appreciated even if you made it i mean even if they know that you made it i think just adding the name means that you really care <laughs> Oh, my iron. Okay. Well, um, the, the iron that I'm using now is not leak proof. Uh, I have a few irons. Um, when I say a few, a lot. <laughs> and the, ones I'm, the one I'm using now is just a cheap iron because I usually buy it almost every month for, for a small travel steam iron. Because they're very strong with the steam. I like those um, travel steam irons. But the one I use is um, uh, the brand, original brand is Oliso. It's the automatic lift thing. The one that automatically lifts. And you don't have to worry about burning or anything. Even if you left it on and it turns off in like a few minutes if you're not using it. It's really cool. Um, I use that a lot. And that is leak proof, I would say. Thank you, Dee. Yeah, it's such a cute beeb. Um, I'll definitely put the link on the description box. And your code, just use code Andy Mimito. I'll put, I'll write it down below so you guys can check out her shop on Etsy. Please support her. She's she has a great pattern. She's a good person. And yeah, she's very nice. Yes, Erica. Yes. I love simple, quick and easy patterns too. Um, I try to 
um, you know, learn other techniques and, you know, learn to make other things too. Recently, I started making uh, a jumpsuit for myself because I've never done a jumpsuit for adults. But I don't like limiting myself to just small, you know, simple things. But 90%, I love to make simple, quick and easy things because, it, you know, sewing is supposed to be fun. If it's so hard, it's not going to be so fun, isn't it? Um, um, I hope I answered, not sure. Yeah, um, it's not very easy with a baby, but he's a pretty good baby. <laughs> yeah, okay, well, we're almost done. So if you guys have anything else to, to ask, please ask now and or else forever hold your peace <laughs> yeah i think that's a very common problem with irons there's no perfect iron really i don't think well i've not had a perfect iron yet but also i've never bought anything really expensive maybe the most expensive iron i have is a hundred dollars that's it i've never gone beyond a hundred i think it's ridiculous to pay for more than a hundred dollars for an iron <laughs> but of course quality right yeah all right well Thank you so much, guys, for being here today. I I really hope you enjoyed this video. It's my first live, and I really I really like live because I can chat with you. I can just read your comments, and then it's like talking to you. <gasps> oh, really? Hundred ninety? Well, that's not how much I paid for my um. Oh, Lisa, let me just show you real quick. Okay, here is my... Here is the, I think, Dubai version of Aliso. Because you can... It's called Arshia. Arshia by Aliso. But it's almost the same as the ones I've seen on YouTube, you know. Those yellow ones. I've seen the yellow ones. And this was not more than a hundred, I don't think. I paid about three hundred probably three hundred and sixty dirhams. That's the money in, in the UAE and that's that's just a hundred dollars. Thank you, D. Wow. Yeah, again, please. Go visit the shop of Atelier Mimito. She's uh, she's got really nice patterns, and you can get twenty percent off of her. I mean, all of her patterns. So go and choose whatever you like, and she writes them well. Really nice instructions, and yeah, and very quick to reply too. Thank you, Sophia. Bye. Okay, well, mm, oh, by the way, before you leave, go on Facebook and, um, you know, join our Facebook group, The Makers. Uh, it's just, you know, a community of makers sharing um, their creation, which is, you know, we'd, we'd love to have you there. And I announce things there, so you'll see when I'll go live next. Yeah, thank you everyone. Thank you and good night here in the UAE. I hope you enjoyed this live. I'll see you on my next video. Adios, bye-bye, and be kind to everyone.